This is gonna be the most obnoxious title I've probably ever put out. No, there's more of those, but it's got a humble message to it. So basically the title is gonna be, I was right again on Bitcoin. But the humble message is, even though I know my technical analysis was correct, it doesn't mean that I follow through with everything to a T. You know, you've got to plan. It's really hard to implement, especially when your emotions are in the way. So it doesn't matter that I was right because I need to follow my plan 100%. What I'm talking about is the recent crash, crash, recent fall in Bitcoin. So at the moment, I'm in a new country again. I'm in Gibraltar and I went to the gym. You know, I'm super sweaty. My alerts went off. I've had them set at around 9,800 or 9,600 from memory on Bitcoin. And exactly one hour ago from this video, uh, the alerts went off and then the rest of my alerts for all my other cryptos that I track, they also went off. So the dollar values dropped and the Bitcoin values of those uh, alt uh, altcoins also dropped. So they're all hitting my support zones, well, which were supports, now they've crashed. And the reason why I'm saying that it doesn't matter that I was right is because I still did my dollar cost averaging last week, about a week ago from this point. Uh, sorry, yeah, Sunday. So anyway, nine days ago, it's not going to concern you. So I bought in then because it was just about to you know, creep up again uh, on the Bitcoin chart and on the other cryptos and the altcoins that was going up on the dollar uh, average. And the Bitcoin values were still dropping. And from that point, I thought, look, this could keep going. So I've got to get in, I've got to follow my dollar cost averaging plan. I had that set at the 61.8%. So if you remember a few videos ago, I wrote, uh, I did a video saying this could be a point at which Bitcoin halts and that's the bear market rally. So we had the bottom at 3,000, hit a top of, let's call it 14,000 for round numbers, so it's 13,900. And that is about 61.8% of the full fall from the 20,000 value. So although I was right in my analysis, it doesn't matter. So that's, I, just, I wanted to make the video because this is the point of the vlogs, right? It's an investment vlog. It's what we all do uh, day to day and try and be honest with ourselves. Uh, and also, it, I kind of like it because you can see what's going on, well, at least I can recall and rewatch these videos. And you just look at what was going on at the same time on crypto YouTube and crypto Twitter, and the amount of talk and noise that goes on with the videos every single day, everyone calling different prices, uh, you know, Bitcoin to 20,000. We're gonna break 20,000 this year. We're gonna hit 50,000 in 2019. You know, we're going to go to the recent trend was making videos of why Bitcoin should be 10 million. Like there were so many of those videos out now and look what happened. We've had a, what's that? 30% drop so far. If we get down to 8,300, we've had a 40% drop and we don't really see 40% drops in all markets. So if we get to a 50%, that would be lovely. Uh, I'm not concerned until it gets past a 61.8% drop from the top. Well, at least, let me, let me rephrase that, uh, a retracement from the top. So bottom to top, 3,100 to 14,000, use that. And then uh, a 61.8% drop within that range, within that rally. That's, if it breaks that, then I'd start to be concerned. Uh, I think that price comes in at around 7,500. So we're at 9,600, I think. I think I just saw it bounce just before I turned my camera on to make the video. If we get down to if we drop past 9,000, I'm going in again for uh, another dollar cost averaging. Uh, I have to do that anyway because that's part of my plan. Uh, down past 8,000, I'm going to find any other bits of cash and going in again. We break the 61.8 of the this current bull rally, so the bull trend from 3,000 up, so break down of 61.8. That's gonna look a little bit bearish to me and I have to follow my plan. I'll have to sell some so, uh, you know, to buy back later because I think it would go a lot further if it breaks that point. So that's my investment blog today. Although I was right, it doesn't matter because life goes on. Twitter, crypto goes on, crypto YouTube goes on. And unless I'm following my plan precisely, 
doesn't matter if I make calls. It doesn't matter if anyone on the internet makes calls because they're probably, you don't know what they're actually doing. Uh, I feel like I put myself out there a little more than some and, you know, let you know of the, the mistakes and whatnot because even in a bull market, we can all make money and it's no shame in being wrong in some cases and then also not sticking to certain things and being truthful about it. That's how I'm going to grow. And, you know, I can just hope everyone else grows and makes some good money as well on this upcoming bull market trend. I'll wrap it up there. Thanks again for joining me. I know I hadn't made a video in a while. I've just been traveling through different parts of Europe. Uh, I was in Ibiza, Ibiza uh, just until yesterday, so six days, and now I'm in Gibraltar, probably for another week or a little more. If you guys know anything about crypto in Gibraltar, you know, pretty cool place, uh, very small. Maybe I'll get a video up. Look at the, it's very hard to see, but behind me, there's the Gibraltar rock right there. Uh, you guys know anything about crypto going, the going ons of crypto in Gibraltar, let me know because I know this is a bit of a financial hub, uh, a lot of insurance and different sort of financial products here as well, licenses and things like that. Uh, from what I know, Malta copies a lot of what Gibraltar does, except Malta sort of gives out stuff willy-nilly, whereas Gibraltar is um, a lot more regulated. So if you want me to check something out here, it's, it's very easy. It's such a small place, you know, it's probably four kilometers from end to end. Um, what's four kilometers? Two and a half miles end to end. I uh, can walk around it pretty quickly as well. You know, hour and a half, two hours, maybe, just to walk right around the whole of the territory. Hit me up, Gibraltar. All right, thanks again. Why I was right, but it doesn't matter in the end. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this current trend. Is it going to crash? Was this just a bear market rally, a sucker's rally, or is this just a very sharp correction in a early bull market? Let me know what you think, what you're up to. Hit me in the comments below. Thanks again for joining me. Check me out on Instagram, jason.pazino. Stories are a lot to do with Bitcoin and my travels and uh, keeping in contact with you guys there. And uh, yeah, YouTube and the rest of it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again. Like, share, subscribe down below. Remember to like the video, helps out a lot. And see you at the next one. Till next time, take care, peace out, and have more fun to get more done.